world, Shelly here, and it is time for another review in five where I give you guys a quick look at a new product, my first impressions, see what I think in five minutes or so, and I'm coming at you missing part of my face because I'm gonna try out two new products from L'Oreal. I've got the Voluminous X Fiber Mascara and the new Infallible Pro Last Eyeliners. Now, I was inspired to pick this up by Influencer. If you have never used Influencer before, it is a website or app where they have lots and lots of reviews on different things with a giant makeup section, but they do other things as well. And you can participate in providing reviews and doing these little campaigns. And when you do, you may qualify to get what they call Vox Boxes. And that's where they'll send you some free stuff in exchange for your honest opinion on said free stuff. Now I did not get this for free, but the influencer had a virtual campaign where you could go to CVS, it was in partnership with them, and if you took a picture of, you know, a shelfie with, you know, the shelf, and a selfie with you in front of this particular product, then you'd be entered to win some L'Oreal stuff. So I did that because what the heck, why not? I haven't won this, I purchased this myself, but if you want to try out Influencer, I'll leave a link below. It's just a fun way to, you know, get more information on different products. And I have received, I get a Vox box probably, I don't know, maybe once every three months of products to try. Mine have been mostly skincare for 40 plus age group targeted, which I'm guessing there aren't too many people of of my particular age group on Influencer, which is why I'm so lucky at getting Vox boxes all the time. But your mileage may vary. So let's get into this. Let's check out this mascara and eyeliner. Let's start with the liner. It is said to be waterproof. It is up to 24 hour wear, suitable for use in the waterline. I bought this in all of the shades, but today I'm gonna use 950 gray. <laughs> when I sat down, this was supposed to be a cool tone smoky eye, and I don't know how we ended up doing gold, but that's what happens. So this is your typical non-mechanical pencil, and nope, does not look like there is a built-in sharpener. It is just your typical pencil. Feels really nice though, it's not wood. It's a nice smooth texture. Let's see how the liner itself is going to perform. We're just going for like faux wing. Very smooth, very creamy. This is nice, it's not skipping at all. I'm not using firm pressure at all. I'm being very light handed and it's working well. I'm so bad at pencils at the inner corner of my eye. Now I'm also going to use this on my upper waterline. Yeah, very smooth, goes on without much pressure at all. It's creamy, glides nicely, I like it. The true test will be, does it stay in the waterline and how does it wear at the end of the day? I will come back and let you guys know. Oh, let's just do a little lower waterline. Now let's try this mascara. I've got it in shade 213 Blackest Black. It says it's got a black primer and a fiber mascara, 20 times fibers, extreme length. Let's see. It's labeled step one and step two. Primer does seem to be giving some structure to my lashes. They are very finicky right now. One side is like having a really angry growth spurt where half my lashes are missing and half of them are short and half of them are long. So they need help. It's this side. This side is the problem child. So there's the primer and here's the mascara. I do not have good luck with fiber mascaras. I'm a contact lens wearer and very often I have issues with fibers dropping into my eyes and causing me grief. I'm 
For as weird as these lashes are right now, this doesn't look bad. It doesn't look amazing. Let's try my, my good eye. So I'm just flecked down onto my face. That's why I don't like fibers. I have a feeling this video is going to be more than five minutes long. It looks okay. I don't know if I'm particularly in love or not. I think it just looks fine. Let me wear this throughout the day. I will come back tonight and let you know how it all wore. Alrighty, it is just after 8.30 p.m. So I have been wearing this makeup for about nine hours now. Yes, nine hours. How did it hold up? Well, the eyeliner is still pretty much for the most part in my waterline and I don't see any flaking of the mascara on my face. So final thoughts, definite huge thumbs up on the new infallible liners. I am very glad I picked up all of the colors. I just wish there was a green one. Didn't see a green one at my CVS. I would like a green one, please. And as for the Superstar X Fiber Mascara, it's okay. I am just not a huge fan of the two steps. I think I can get just as much volume and length from other mascaras. I've really been digging the Maybelline Total Temptation lately, but the fact that this looks fine and performed wonderfully with no flaking all day long, I'm gonna say thumbs up on this guy too. So we got some winners. There you have it. Have you tried these? Have you seen them in your local stores? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Let me know if you've seen anything else at the drugstore you would like me to pick up and try out. And I would be glad to keep my eyes peeled for those things. Thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over makeup with me. I'd appreciate a thumbs up and a subscribe if you haven't already. I post three days a week. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Check it out and I will see you in the next one. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.